Hello! We are once again back in Hogwarts today. Hopefully you guys are also having fun with more Harry Potter because I'm having a blast. So we're just, we're going to keep going at it. I'm also very curious because we kind of ended at slightly a bit of a cliffhanger last time with like only finishing half of the quests I was supposed to do. And I've just been very curious where it's all going to go. So we're continuing on. Okay, yeah, the next thing we have to do is meet with Professor Weasley. Or, mm, should we do this one first? We're gonna do this one first, because this one, we get to learn a new spell. Uh, what is that? Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima and a durus potion. Oh my god, am I gonna have to learn how to make stuff? Potions, okay, on our way to potions. Oh my god! What's happening? Why is he- What are you scrubbing? Okay, also, I just thought about this. Do I have one? <gasps> I have that. Use them simultaneously? What is the other potion I'm supposed to- Focus potion. I- Do I also have a maximum potion? I have to purchase both of those from the- Okay. Cool. Let's go to Hogsmeade then. Okay. Where is the potion shop? Right here. Setting waypoint. Oh, it's literally in front of my face. Okay, that's awkward. We have everything Hi. a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Okay, I need the Oh my god, these are expensive. A wise decision. Thank you. Ah, I'm broke now. Oh. Focus potion. Flux weed stem. Huh? Well, we're gonna have to go on a little mission here. Hopefully this is where I get that. Otherwise I would mm. Please take your time looking about. Oh, flux weed stem. Oh my god. I don't have enough. You have a good head for business, haven't you? Okay. Now, you let me know if there's anything <laughs> else I can help you with. Okay. Now, let's hope I can actually do this. My little plant. Incorrect pot size. How do I change that? How do I make it bigger? Do I have to go back to Hogsmeade and buy a dang pot? There's a side quest that has a funky reward and I'm kind of tempted to get it. Not me googling how to get a bigger pot. <laughs> Tomes and scrolls. No way. No way it costs a thousand dollars. One, it is a thousand. No. What am I gonna do? Okay, really quick, because I actually am curious about this. We are going to finish, or not finish, Zonko's, what is that? We're gonna do this side quest. Let's go talk to this Clementine lady. Do you really want me to help you? Probably. Pardon me, but were you saying something? <laughs> oh, hello. Talking to myself, I'm Clementine Willetsy. Clementine, John. not Clementine. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? <laughs> I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. That does sound a little ridiculous, but... What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh! Goodness, everything from students being mysteriously beheaded oh. to terrifying <laughs> spider dens. Oh, trust um, me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Well, unfortunately, at least one half of that was not false. Man's oh, well. did kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh, how kind. Students these 
these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Okay, I guess we're going to the forest. <laughs> Why do I always do this? The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skirt. Okay. Huh? There they are. Butterflies. She wasn't making it up. I didn't think she was, but oh no. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willard C might get an answer about these buttons. What is that? Let me Stupid Please die. Haha. <laughs> okay, where did the butterflies go? I lost them. Oh, oh my god, no way. It says on the freaking map. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. Look what we have here. Incendio. I didn't... Why am I stone? <laughs> I don't really know what I just did. And I'm really hoping I didn't waste something I need. <laughs> but I think I might have. I'm back. Please tell me you have an answer for me about I the do. butterflies. Hello, Miss Willetsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Perhaps uh, I thought she was going to ask for it. I bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see. Should I dare? We're going to go see if we can afford this now. I have a couple things I can sell. I don't know if it'll be enough, but mm, I'll hope. Update, I am very far away. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna run around and see if I can manage to gather. Okay, enough of these. And that gave me literally two. <laughs> oh my God, that one gave me 500. Oh, I made him sweat. I hate doing these ones. Oh snap, okay, hold on. I have enough now. It only took me making two chests sad, but yeah, I got it. Okay, party table with large pot. Okay. Let's see if we can make this work now. How do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I don't understand what I'm doing. Can you help me, please, woman? I have to unlock- I've been doing a lot of googling. I have to unlock this. Ugh, that's irritating. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna ignore the fact that I just wasted, like, a lot of time. Hello there. Perhaps you can help me. Aw, oh, man. Okay, you know what? I need money, so maybe- Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. I'd be happy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Better be a large pot so I can grow my stuff. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. You're going to make me go on the other side of the school, aren't you? Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I shall take a look if I find time. Yeah, of course I have time. Huh? Where? Oh, it says I need to go downstairs, so we're gonna go downstairs. Oh, wait, no, it's telling me where to go. Hold on. I forget this game does that for me. Excuse me. Y'all are in my way. Wait! No! Huh? 
I'm not at my destination. Okay. Professor Weasley? I don't want to meet Professor Weasley right now. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Um. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. I walked by it. Shall we? Um. After you, Professor. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't walk into a mysterious room first either, but... What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. There's a lot going on in this room. When one is in real need of it. Oh. Um... a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you okay. managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Don't tell me someone's happening no to Deke. Clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach <gasps> you Evanesco, a spell. the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, bet. I'm not gonna mess it up this time, I promise. Told ya! Why does it look like a. F <laughs> Splendid! Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, okay. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, right there, the fart cloud. Excellent work. Um. <laughs> You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Yes. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay, I've accidentally already gotten a lot of that, so... Where in Merlin's name is that elf? I don't know. Why is everyone mean to the elves? Ooh, ooh a thing, a thing, a is thing. Goodness. My old school bag. I waited I'm for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned to be more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if you want to meet again. I can't believe oh. it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Okay, well, I yes, already Professor. did some exploring. <laughs> can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. What? I'm sorry. Oh. Char. I got more moonstone. Have I missed anything? That is all the way over there. What? Oh, snap. Spectacles. Now, where else was the thing? Right there. How am I? Are you kidding? Hey, am I supposed to get up there? Hello? What? How does it expect me to get up there? Eh? Oof, 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 oof. Okay, right there. It won't let me jump. What? 
What do you mean? It's fine. We'll just we'll move on. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. What was that stink cloud? An intruder. Ah. No, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. <laughs> I don't get what I'm supposed to. Fu this is pretty. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? It's because they probably don't. Well, it'll eventually stop floating, right? I don't think it's supposed to look like that, but I got it. This looks very ominous and I'm not entirely sure if I like it. What's going on? What is that? Why is stuff being thrown at me? Oh, it's an elf. to you. Oh. Uh, 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 hello. Hello, uh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Wait, wait, wait. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Do I get a pick or is it just gonna happen? Do the rest. Cause I don't know. I I don't want to pick. <laughs> oh. Oh my lord. He almost got taken out by a book. <laughs> seeing what you do with the space ah and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description what is Excellent. that it can identify unfamiliar items of clothing Ooh. one should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed why am i sitting like this oh okay i do have something for that let's see what this is What is it? It's a tan cloak. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. That was the dumb. Desk will be a valuable resource. Okay. Hello. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. I already did. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. 
the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Oh. I did it. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls. I swear and if I, I bought it, I didn't need to. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as moonstone can be obtained throughout the highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. That's boring, They can also though. be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. Yay! I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Okay. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Uh huh. How do I. Oh. Put it all the way in the corner. Now I need to do a potting table? Put it right there. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need. Don't you worry, I have. Outside the castle grounds. Oh. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready. But again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Don't worry, I will. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere <laughs> in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Sounds good. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use yeah? in the room. Why would I not? Show me the spell. What is the spell? I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I have some. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have enough. There's no way I don't. Okay, hold on. No, before we do that, though... I want to get this one. Oh, I'm putting this one in the middle. We're literally... This is where it's going to go. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Guardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Okay. Okay, I got that going. Now. Yeah. 15 minutes? Oh. Okay. Please tell me I have enough moonstone. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Yay. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Ooh. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Bet I gotta be a designer. Oh, ee! We're doing this one, it's a niffler. I wanna make my feet comfy. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? 
I think you're ready to take on alteration. Oh? The altering spell will allow you to customize any oh. conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Man, we're doing a lot of this today. I Just did it. Aim your wand at any oh. conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay. Change the size? What do you mean the size? <gasps> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> change the color, okay. Hold on, we're changing the color of this. How do I change the color? Oh, F. Oh my god. Well, it's gonna be purple. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try oh? these new designs on the floor or balcony. What? Shut up. <laughs> oh, yes. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Yeah. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Where is he? Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Oh, he's right there. Come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm ready, Deke. What are you going to teach me? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um. Ooh, a moonlit? Yes. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Ooh. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh. <laughs> mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. I love it. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What is happening? Why'd the lady just twist into the floor? Oh. It just goes back out. Uh oh. Huh? What? What was that? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. <laughs> if you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay. I didn't expect the room just to expand. I still haven't found this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go do this one because I have to wait for my seeds to grow anyways. So... Where am I going? <laughs> we're gonna go and try and find this dude's... Whatever we're supposed to find. Treasure map or something? Or following the treasure map? Whatever, I don't know. A rhinoceros skeleton. Yeah. I'm on the right track. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. What is this for? The Dedalian uh. keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? <sighs> okay, you know what? We're gonna talk to her and start the quest so we can finish it later. <laughs> is everything? Oh my right? god. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'm just 
I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Okay. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Um. Honestly, I'm kind of intrigued. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried. And I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. I got Perhaps this. I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I just came from there. I hope you find No, 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 no. If you manage to open No, 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 no. We're finishing the other one. <laughs> what did I just do? Okay, so I'm supposed to go in here. I said to go through the door. And there's like a certain painting, I think. The stairwell looks promising. Oh, I did it. <laughs> this looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Whoa. Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Hold on. Are you kidding? I wonder what came of Arthur's <gasps> search. Um, okay. There's just a random doorway. Where are you? Find there you anything go. yet? Yes, I did. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. Oh. <laughs> he shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. You're welcome. Spare a moment? I could use your help. <sighs> Okay, you know what? Fine. Maybe this is going to be the episode of side quests. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello. Hello. I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. The dragon wasn't my choice. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. Okay. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't laugh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. The hidden herbology corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's oh. supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I got oh. in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What? 
What sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Ah, okay. Well, I guess let's go do this really quick. Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It does sound intriguing. That's the only reason why I'm actually going to do this one. <laughs> These dry vines are one oh. spark away from becoming kindling. But... Incendio! Okay, this is getting a little funky. Oh no. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's okay. Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Game, if you show me more spiders. Lumos. Okay. Am I supposed to, like, be careful, or can I just go? How do I get over? Oh, like that. Okay. Game just doesn't like me, apparently. What is this? Oh my lord. Okay, hold on. Whoa. Haha. -ha. This stuff is nasty looking. I imagine oh. a piece of that enormous venomous <gasps> tentacular would be enough for Duncan what to prove his is bravery. That? Oh my god. Lumos. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Uh-huh. Ow. Right. How how? Is it gonna try and eat me? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna have to fight it. <laughs> I did it. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. You're welcome. I appreciate you getting it for me. <laughs> I might just keep this. <laughs> of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Okay. Thank you again, <sighs> and have a good day. I know I will. Man's gonna get reprimanded Thank now. Thank you for all of your help. Okay. What is that? They just keep giving me extra quests. This I am kind of curious about, this key thing. So we're gonna try and get this one real quick. <gasps> Hi. Mm, you looked at me. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> I just shoved him out of the way. <laughs> it's a Dalian key. Wonder where it might lead. Oh, okay. Guess we're going back down. Where did it go? What? Where did it go? Oh my god, okay. You'll be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who conceded that that little bit that they in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, all muggles, mind you, as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as a means of connecting meteors to comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym, I think, 
From my days as a gentleman scholar, whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. <laughs> what an adventure we shall have. Miss you, dear sister, and do hope you are well. With love. Where's that wasn't even what I was supposed to find. How do I get this key in there? Wait. Yes. I did it! Oh, what An is this? Coin. Perhaps Nelly knows what it means. Okay. Hold on, that's actually kind of interesting. What did I just do? <gasps> Hi, Sebastian. I'm back. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Yes, I was. Hello, Nelly. I managed to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant. What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. <gasps> I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Wait, it's like the one by like the stairs. Continue. For so much effort, the prize must be something grand. Yes, probably. We're we going. The find the Slytherin house chest. Open the door. Yeah, it's right here. <gasps> Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I go oh. open this. Quite a few by the look of it. There are 16? Oh my god. No wonder this game is so long. So this one's gonna go for a while. So we're not gonna worry about that one. Quite frankly, if we keep going, I think this video is gonna be insanely long. So I think we're gonna leave the Professor Fig stuff for next episode. Same with both of the professor assignments. That obviously is going to keep going for a while. And then we'll probably try and do this as well. Mm, honestly, knowing the game, they're probably going to give me like 14 more quests next episode. But we'll get them when we get them. We're going to leave it here. While they're gossiping in the background. We're going we're gonna to move so they stop gossiping. We're going to stand next to this. What? Okay, anyways, yeah. We're gonna leave it here. <laughs> I feel like a lot happened, but not a lot happened at the same time. We're slowly getting through the quest. We'll get there. We're, we're not in a rush. We're gonna take our time, figure stuff out. At least we got our dang potting stuff. So now I can actually grow what I need to grow. And we'll figure out the potions next time too. But yeah, with that, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next week. Bye.